In this video will demonstrate some of Nest Master's basic manual nesting or interactive nesting features. So you can see we have our parts selected here. We're going to go ahead and automatically nest them by pressing on the Start Auto Nest button. Ask us to select our sheet size and the parts are nested. You can see since they all would not fit on the one sheet, there's multiple sheets. So we can see here. Um, now we're going to go back to the first sheet. See it, uh, the first feature I want to demonstrate is how to select multiple parts to move together. This one, this internal piece is already nested inside of this piece. So we don't want to change that. We can cl left click on the inside piece and then left click, uh, press the shift key and left click on the outside. At this point, we can rotate. As you can see, those little circles in the corner, these will move. The ones that have the little angle indicator will move at a preset angle. This one in the upper right will move. This one here, 45, these at 90. This one is free, so it will move only whatever angle you want. So now um, we've got to the angle we want. The other feature is the bump to move it over to the to the edge or to another part based on these separations you specify here. But as you can see this is now red meaning there it violates the separation so it's not able to bump. So we're going to select them again and we're going to move it and then we're going to try to bump it again. As you can see, that works. So now we can move so both of those. We can bump. This one will fit. Now we can also try um, to make the other. See, the one went on to the other sheet. So I'm going to move to the other sheet. I'm going to delete this one. Just delete this one. So now we only have one. As you see from our list here, this one has one of two. So we double click on that, it'll bring it onto this sheet. And we can try to make it fit, but it doesn't look like it's going to at any in any way. So we're gonna delete that again. And if we want to go back and add another sheet, we can press this new nest. It will ask us the sheet, and we want the same as we're doing with this one. So now we have two. Uh, lost that somehow. We go here, and now we're going to add this, and we're going to add this one. Now to save space, we can put this inside of this one but it's red. So we can try to move this around, but we can't. More than likely our problem is because of this, this lead in is too much or our separation. First thing we're gonna do is gonna change our part separation to 0.25. And our peers, and we'll see if that works. So now let's see, we can push it up close to this one. And it's still not. So the next thing we can do is we can actually delete this. Go back to our parts, edit parts list, and that would be this one here. We can click on this outside, and we can change this to 375. See, we have a 45 degree angle, and our lead out, we can reduce that. 
We're going to return the nesting and we're going to add it again. And we can actually zoom in on this. And to, we can go back to this one. And as you can see, now we can make it fit. Now it's green, we can even use the bump feature. And it looks like we've got it pretty close. And so that's just a few more features you find in Nest Master.